Hello, today we are going to make a baseline schedule using Microsoft Project. The first thing you do is go to the lower left corner and then type project. So uh, on the screen and then click on blank project. On the left side of the screen, now this is the data entry. On the other side is the bar chart. Now the first thing we do is click on the file menu on top and then click on information. We're going to enter some project information by going to advanced property. Okay, now I put some uh, information already. So you can see this is the um, uh, uh, driveway construction we have here and you can enter some of the project managers information and as well as the scope of the work um, and click OK to save what you did the next thing you do is more important on the left side and click on options and then go down to schedule and change new tasks created should be auto scheduled rather than manual. And then click OK. Um, now we're going to enter the project start date. Go to the top and click on the project menu. And then click on project information. We're going to pick July first. And also we're going to change the year to be 2025. Yeah, so July 1st, 2025. And then click OK. Uh, before we proceed any further and uh, make sure you save what you did. So on the top and uh, click on save. And then pick a location where you can save your file. And uh, name it appropriately so you can find it. <coughs> Uh, so the driveway, the first thing we want to do is probably to get the quotes. So on the task name and the type get quotes, we have to order some material, lumber, and uh, also concrete. Uh, we need to do some grading usually and uh, form work. Finally, we'll be placing of the concrete okay so this is the task entry really is simple and the duration we're going to do is uh, usually by days so we're going to say two days to get the quote one day each to get order the material and the grading will be two days and form work three days and uh, concrete placement will be another day so that's duration entry Finally, we're going to look at the relationship of those tasks. And uh, the first one is get quotes. Uh, get quotes will be the first thing we do. So don't uh, you don't have to put anything here. Uh, order lumber. For lumber, you put a one, which means get quotes activity one happens before activity number two. The same thing with or the concrete so getting quotes will be happening before ordering the concrete grading uh, has nothing to do with the quotes so we'll leave this blank the form work though you will need the lumber and also you need the grading to be complete so what do we do is put activity 2 lumber with a comma and then type four, which is grading. So two and four, both of them, their predecessors separated by a comma. The same thing with concrete. Uh, we need a concrete for the material with a comma. And also we need the formwork to be complete. So three and a five, uh, that's pretty much completes uh, the basic work breakdown structure.
Okay, we're going to add one more task, which is the celebration after everything is done. So you can type celebration and then just the type zero for the duration, because this one is supposed to be a milestone. Uh, of course, we have to change the relationship. Actually, we have to put some connection with the existing project. So you can just uh, double click on the task, or the other way to do it is just to go to task menu and then click on the task information on the top, switch to predecessor tab, and then pick concrete placement. Uh, type two for the lack, which means you will need to have two days after the concrete has been placed. Uh, because you will need that two days at least for the curing and the finish. So click OK. And uh, seems like the milestone is July 11. Now go to Format and on the top and then check Project Summary Task. This is a convenient way to show the project duration that indicates the project has nine working days, nine working days plus two days for the weekend, and then you do have 11 calendar days. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is to look at our uh, work breakdown structure because we want to add one more in addition to the project level. So go to Get Quotes and then right click and then say insert task. Yeah, the other way to do it is actually pick get quotes and then click on task menu, go to the task command and then click on the task button. Yeah, it does the same thing. Yeah, do the do the same thing with grading. Uh, we also want a task above grading. Now for the two new tasks, change the name. The first one will be procurement. The second one will be construction. So we break down the whole project into two phases, and then we organize the tasks into those phases. Uh, select get quotes, order lumber, order concrete. And then on the toolbar, find a button, and it's called indent task. Do the same thing with grading, formwork, and place concrete. Also do the indent. Yeah, you can see how the project has been reorganized. Uh, this completes the work breakdown structure. Now we want to see the relationship. Uh, go to view and then network diagram. Uh, if you have trouble in seeing everything, you can always adjust the zoom level out of the bottom by sliding uh, the bar on the lower right corner. Okay, the other way to do it is just to zoom in, zoom out on the top. Um, so uh, if we do want to zoom in and take a close look, by the way, you know, anything that looks like red means they cannot be delayed. Yeah, those are critical tasks. Uh, and the white ones will be just uh, not critical. Now go back to our Gantt chart view by clicking the button on top. Yeah, before we close, just want to remind everyone Usually we don't touch those two columns for start or finish because your activity's start or finish date will be determined by the relationship, not by the data entry. So that completes our uh, tutorial for today for baseline schedule. If you have any questions or comments and uh, just give me some feedback below, uh, of course you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you.